about uh, nearly 3,000 cases, 2,975 reported laparoscopic hepatic resections, 50% or 1,488 have been for cancer, 44% for benign. So it's interesting because in some series it may be an 80-20 and you wonder, well, but this is a world compilation from, you know, four different continents. Live donor hepatectomy, initially uh, uh, some Asian series as well as a Share Keys publication in Lancet. Uh, now, uh, initially parent to child, left lateral sectionectomy, but now uh, Alan Cofran and Mike Abacasis uh, reported on the live donor right hemihepatectomy, and now we're up to 49 cases in the literature. There are 4% not clearly documented what the indication was in large series. For the 1,488 cancer cases, this is the breakdown uh, over half for HCC, a third for colorectal mats, and the other for uh, uh, solitary uh, metastases. The benign cases, 1,300. Cysts are uh, 20%, adenomas 12, and then these would be symptomatic hemangiomas, FNHs. Interestingly, from Asia, not, we don't see this in the United States, but 10% of all of the 1,300 cases are for hepatolithiasis, either with strictures or, or uh, biliary duct problems. This was the breakdown of the approaches of these uh, 3,000 cases. 82% were pure or totally laparoscopic. 14% hand accessed or hand assisted, laparoscopic assisted open or hybrid 56, and I think there was very good discussion from uh, Dr. Wakabashi and Dr. Abacasis that will continue, and, and we've adapted this. I'm going to uh, show one or two of our Pittsburgh sites. We're increasing this. This is a very useful technique. These are all less than 1%, gasless, thoracoscopic, or robot-assisted. We'll hear more about the robot, and which is in the future at the, uh, this afternoon. But no um, complications. First, um, as we already agreed upon, and being the con conversion is uh, is not a complication. It's uh, sometimes it's a planned as a part of the hybrid procedure. But total conversions from laparoscopic to open, when reported, five percent. There were down here 19 cases where a pure lap was converted to hand assist, either to control a bleeder or just to finish the case. So um, still a small proportion, though, of the World Series, less than 1%. These were the major reason for conversion was bleeding, 2% uh, of the cases, uh, adhesions, more, uh, more wound bleeding, more cancer, large tumor size. A bile duct leak from the cut edge, gross positive tumor margin, a doubt of tumor margin, so the usual indications of why we would convert. This for what's reported, and maybe we can take a show of hands, um, but in terms of actually what's published in the literature on 3,000 cases, there are nine deaths reported, 0.3%. And we've, we've already defined that for open hepatic resection surgery from the top 10 liver programs in the world, uh, the publications from that 1,056 cases of Micucci at 0% to about 6% in modern series. If you pick off the cirrhotics and say, okay, well, what's the mortality for a major anatomic resection for a colorectal met? And even in the large series, it's about 1.5% to 3% if you look in series from 2000 to 2008. So arguably you could state, well, assuming that these cases aren't being hidden and that's a separate issue, what if people, uh, what if you doubled this? And you can say, well, uh, even if you had double what's reported in the literature, you're still under 1%. Now you could say, well, that's a selection bias and the, you're, the laparoscopic cases are easier, so of course you expect less mortality. But at least what the data shows in 3,000 cases, it's at least as safe as hepatic resection surgery in terms of mortality. No, we can argue the selection bias. I know of one case in the United States that has not been reported in the literature and you know